in this video we are going to discuss the concept of iframes at large and uh, we are going to have a look at a couple of examples as well now before actually going and having a look at the topics let's see the key topics that are going to be discussed in the video so number one will be what are iframes number two and number three will be that if there is an iframe how do you handle it and the methods to handle it and number three is switching back to the default frame so let's suppose you have handled an iframe you switch to that iframe and now, now you want to go back to the parent or the default frame right let's start first of all what are iframes and what was the need of it so the iframes are mainly used to insert content from external sources for example an advertisement first let me show you a web page so in this web page do you see the line which says this is the sample page i've highlighted it as well it's here right now uh, let's suppose there is a scenario and uh, the scenario is that i ask the selenium web driver to go ahead look for this line that is this is a sample page and get the text of it and print it on the console if you have seen my previous videos we have done su such thing uh, we have discussed the method which can be used to deal with this particular situation right so let's do one thing let's see it in action right so it's as simple as that that i'll be navigating to the website that is uh, driver.get and then you have the url and then uh, in line number 21 i'll ask it to print the text which uh, whatever is fetched using the xpath which is highlighted on the screen right now using the dot get text method technically if you have seen my previous video you know that this should work and it should fetch me the uh, text or or whatever is you know uh, i mean using the xpath whatever text is fetched it should go and print it on the console right let's go and run it once okay so it has opened the window and uh, technically it should work right so let me go ahead and let's wait for the execution to end so the execution is still in progress oh it failed right so uh, you might wonder that why did it fail so the reason behind failing of this particular script is because it could not find the exception it could not find the element let me zoom it a bit as well i'm so sorry i'm not able to zoom right now but for you i'll highlight it so it says org.openqa.selenium.no such element exception that is no such element with this xpath that is h1 text is equal to this is sample page was present now just to satisfy yourself let's see if this xpath is right or wrong cool so oh th this xpath seems to be working right this xpath is working so why why was i mean why did it uh, why, why was the script failed right all in all if you see in the last line it says at iframe windows dot main iframe and windows dot java 21 so basically what it says is that there is a possibility that an iframe exists and you have not switched to it right now let's go and see what is an iframe so if you see on my screen let me zoom it a bit cool so we have fetched to the element that we wanted to access right now let's traverse a bit uh, so it travels to body then to html then iframe right so there's an iframe or uh, so a tip for you whenever you encounter such an error after the execution which and it's somewhere mentions iframe go ahead and search for an iframe the best way to do it is i mean you know uh, fetching it using the hierarchy and all can be a bit time taking so it's better to just simply open inspect element and simply search for iframe and if you see that there are results that is one more than one or equal to one then there is an iframe then you can access the iframe that whichever you want so you click on enter and uh, you'll be able to see different iframes and different instances it is as simple as that right so this is the reason that the concept of iframes was introduced because if there is an iframe and if your element or if your scenario is inculcated in that iframe or in that container you will have to switch to that iframe right all in all in one line understand that iframes are basically containers so this entire web page wherever i'm scrolling my mouse right now this is a container uh this advertisement is another container wherever my mouse is right now this gray box is another container so all these containers are nested into each other and there is one parent container right so to access anything which is in the child container you have to go and switch to that particular object all in all that is what the need of iframe is and that is the concept of iframe cool 
Now let's go and have a look at the two methods by which we can handle these iframes, right? So uh, first one is switch to iframe using name or ID. That is driver dot switch to dot frame, and then you enter the iframe name, right? So now how to how to go and get that? So all in all, let me again go to this is a sample page and let me search for this iframe so if you see that h1 id or you know this is sample this is this is the line that we want to work on so this line is under the iframe whose name or whose id is frame one id and name go hand in hand i mean the syntax will be the same if it's an id you use the id if it's a name if you use the name if it's both you use any of the one right so uh if you see that this particular line is in the hierarchy of the iframe, which is termed as frame one. So to go and access the line, which is, this is a sample page. You have to first switch to the iframe using the ID, which is frame one. So let me go ahead and let me first comment line number 21, because we have encountered the, I mean, we have identified the issue and we are trying to resolve it now. So I'll be going ahead and I'll be uncommenting the line, which is line number 24. As I told you that the iframe ID was frame one. So the syntax is driver dot switch to dot frame and then frame one, right? And now if I want to get the text of this particular X path, I mean, the element which follows this X path, which is again in line number 32, I've just copy pasted it for the right location for the right reasons. So now if I want to go ahead and get the text of it, not will work, right? Let's see it in action. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hmm. I'll check, right? So let me go ahead and let me play it. Okay, it went to demo QA and uh, it quit because you know we did give the quit command. But let's see it in console. What did it print? Now it didn't fail and it gave you the text which reads this is a sample page. So this is the text that we wanted to get out of that particular element. Earlier it was failing, but now since we have switched to iframe as in line number 24 it works right that is the method number one to switch to an iframe now method number two is basically using index right so 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 how do you do that again you just enter iframe and uh, you see these n number of results here right so now i have this line which is highlighted on the web page again and i want to locate that in which iframe is this line or in which container is this line right so I am getting 30 results. What I'll do is I'll just uh, go on pressing enter and wherever it highlights, that is my iframe on the web page, right? So number one, it's not highlighting. Number two, it's again not highlighting. Number three, it is highlighting, but in some other container. Number four, see, now it's highlighting in the right container in the right iframe. So basically the index becomes four. It is as simple as that, right? So let me go and let me comment on line number 24 and uncomment line number 27 which is driver dot switch to dot frame index 4 as we just saw a couple of seconds back that is the index becomes 4 here this one 4 of 30 right so technically now when i run it again it should give me the same result it will now this is an activity for you i'll be sharing of course as i do in all the videos i'll be sharing the code in the video description you go and have a look at the code try it at your end i i did explain you how to switch to an iframe using uh the id or name and i did tell you the syntax for frame index now you go and execute it at your end of course any issues any questions please feel free to comment so these are the two methods so, uh, i know there are other methods as well but these are the two most commonly used methods with the help of which you can switch to an iframe right now last topic of the video okay so we did switch to an iframe but but uh, let's suppose I want to validate something else. So again, let's go to the website, right? You have entered into this iframe that is wherein this is a sample page line is there. But let's suppose if I want to enter back or rather if I want to go outside of this frame again to the parent window. So for example, uh, I don't think this particular text is a part of iframe. It's not, right? So if you see the hierarchy from here, I don't think that, no, it's not, right? This is an iframe, so above it, there is no iframe, right? So let's suppose if I want to navigate and if I want to 
uh, I don't know, maybe I want to ver- verify that the frame's text is present at the correct location or not, right? So if it is already present in this web page, so you have to understand that when it enters into the iframes or into the container, anything apart from the parent iframe, that is the parent window or the, the larger window, it it makes itself restricted to that particular container, right? So right now we are in the container, which which is this gray box, right? So if I, if I plan on going and verifying something else, it will not work, it will fail, right? So it is restricted to this box. Now what I need to do is I need to again switch back to the parent iframe or to the parent window and then verify the text. How does that work? Cool. So let me comment it uh, the earlier one and let me go and let me uncomment on line number 30 which is driver dot switch to dot default content so default content will take it back to the parent iframe or the parent window right so uh if you remember that just a couple of minutes back when we were working on this particular uh switch to iframe and all these things as in line number 24 we were able to get the text right and this text was a part of the iframe which is frame number one now since i'm switching back to parent and i'm getting out of that frame wherein this particular uh, this particular uh, line exists right so i should technically get an error that is i should not be able to fetch the text because i have switched out of that iframe or that container wherein this particular line was so technically it should fail will it let's see Okay. And uh, again, it opens the window, it navigates to demo QA and it is doing something at its end. And, 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 and let's go and see how does it behave. It might take some time. Oh uh, yeah, it failed. And again, the same error, which is add iframe and windows.main again. So all in all, we did switch back to the default content. So now what we are trying to verify is a part of another iframe or a child iframe. And we are not, and we have, you know, we have gotten out of it, so it fails. So that is the concept of iframes, how to switch to the iframes and how to come back. So I hope that uh, this video helped you in some good manner. And uh, you did get a gist of iframes, the syntax and all these related factors. So go and try this code at your end, fetch the document from the video description, try it at your end. And uh, yeah, let me know in case of any other concerns. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.